Hey folks, it's your boy Quincy, and tonight I'll be speaking on the topic of Umar Johnson is a fucking idiot. And I'll tell you why, because he's telling um, black British men that we shouldn't date outside of race and we should stick to black women and that we owe the black community everything. No, we fucking don't. Because in UK, Great Britain, um, the percentage of uh, black men dating outside of race is about, I think it's about 50, 60% now, which is a lot because we know that, we good black British men know that the quality of black women is fucking shit because, you know, what they do is they they waste their best sexual prime years when they're young, pretty and fertile, single. With the worst type of man, they sleep around their sexual prime years in a cock cry cell, sleep with different men, get pregnant, have their kids. And by the time they leave their sexual prime years in their 30s, early 30s, mid 30s, um, when they were fat, out of shape, got different kids ba- from different baby daddies, that's when they want decent men like us who are child free, especially SYS women, black men, British black men, that is. They want us to come in and play stepfather to their kids. We're saying fuck, fuck off and fuck no because we know our own value that we made better choice in life. We didn't get anyone pregnant. We, you know, we, we practiced dick, discipline, dick control. And therefore, we, we didn't become baby daddies. As a result, we became, still, still became child men. And the thing is, you no, know, we know that non-black women value us more because they know that we're sensible, we've got heads screwed on, we've got education. Um, so any black any black British man listening to this video, don't let Umar Johnson shame you into dating just black women. Now, I just did, I did research on Google just now earlier and the world population for 2024 20, 20, is 8.161 billion people on the planet. Why, why would you add a decent black man limit yourself to black women? Don't do that because in the black community worldwide, we all know that black women love evil, bad men. They don't like decent men, they don't. So don't let Umar Johnson um, brainwash you to thinking that as a black man, you only belong, only belong to black women, yeah? And if God wanted to, if I believe in God, yeah, that if he wanted to create one race, he would be. He didn't create all races of people on the planet, depending on what part of the planet you live in. But he wouldn't create all these people, all these different beautiful races of women, if he thought is wrong. You get me? So black men, decent black men, do not, I repeat, do not limit yourself to just black women. Especially if they, don't, if they think you're a dickhead, they don't, like, they, don't value, they don't see your value when you're young, when you're getting your education, you know, getting certifications or, or getting a trade or um, getting a decent job at nine to five. We know that, we, we know that 90, 99%, 99.9% black women don't like decent black men until it's too late. The same old tire story. And you get you get Uma Johnson um, trying to brainwash us and trying to guilt trip us into dating black women who become single mothers. We are not playing stepdaddies. No fucking way. No, not me. I mean, me. I'm I'm 42 now. I don't have any kids, and I am not a God's green earth dating a single parent of any race, let alone a black woman who's a single parent. I'm not because I, I value myself because I didn't get through all these 40, all these 42 years of my life without getting one pregnant, without having any pregnancy scares, to become a stepfather to a kid's not mine, because you've got to stand here. Single mothers, going off topic, single mothers don't respect step, step that they don't. I mean, the dad, you know, the guys that they date who become sick have their own children, no. They don't want, they, they still want the, the baby that they, they, got, they got them pregnant in the first place, yeah. So therefore, it, it doesn't benefit you as child-free men, child-free SOS being black man, to become step, fathers to black single mothers, let alone any other race, so it doesn't benefit you. So if I was you, black men, if black women not showing you love, go elsewhere. Get yourself, get yourself a white woman or non-black woman. I don't give a fuck what Umar Johnson says. You can fuck off here. Yeah? And the thing that makes me laugh about people like Umar Johnson Rap Ra- and Rap Raven, yeah, they they have this this pro-black Af- pan- African fantasy that, oh, every black person on the planet should stick together and they shouldn't mix. That's bullshit, yeah. The world's so big, man. The world's too big for that shit, yeah. No, not every person goes to stay to their own race. You get me? Yeah, yeah. My, my majority of people, 8% of people throughout the world do stay their own, yeah. That's not everybody, yeah. So you, you've got 8% of people, obviously, they stay their own race, but that 20% will mix out. With me, I'm at 20%, yeah, because me, myself, yeah, I'm, I'm not fully black myself, yeah. I'm, my dad's mixed race, mum's black. Or my dad's biracial in American terms, yeah. So my mum, she's full black Guyanese, but she's born in England, London. And my dad is a mixed race Guyanese man. He's, he's mixed with black Guyanese, half black Guyanese, uh, a quarter Irish, a quarter Chinese. So I'm not fully black myself, yeah. So therefore, 
I could take whatever I want to like. I don't give a shit what anyone says. You know what I'm saying? So, and even a guy called um, um, Austin Dunham, a black uh, American YouTuber, he said on his YouTube video earlier, I just watched about 10, 15 minutes ago, he even said, yeah, as a black man, you should date outside your race. At least one should love because you get to you get to uh, get to know different cultures, different people, um, different languages, and you know if you st- if you stretch yourself if you stretch yourself if you stretch yourself to black women, you might miss out on a quality different race of women like a Latina woman, a white woman, or whatever Asian, woman, whatever. Yeah. So um, black. I'm, my, this this is the message to black British men. Yeah. Don't limit yourself to the black women. Don't. Cause you're, gonna, you're gonna hurt yourself in the long run. You know what I mean? So if, if, if black women weren't telling you love, yeah, don't 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 feel guilty of dating that because there's plenty of beautiful women, all races, race of women throughout the world, especially in the UK, especially in London. You've got so much choice, yeah. So um, black, decent black men. So don't restrict yourself. No, do do yourself a favor, yeah. And and the thing is, like I said, this is the year 2024. We're living in the 21st century. This ain't the 18th century. It's 1724, where slavery, we we didn't have any choice. So, but today, I say, about today in race. Now you've got so much choice, especially in the Western society, like Western societies like UK, USA, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, where you've got so many, you've got a bunch of different races of women to choose from. So don't, black British men, I pre don't restrict yourself to the black women because you're going to, like I said, you're going to hurt yourself. And like I said, black women don't like these are black men until they become fucking single mothers. And it's too fucking late. And it's the same old shitty story. Same old excuse. Oh, I was young. I didn't know the guy was bad. They knew the guy was bad. They just didn't read the signs. The sign was there. They just chose to ignore it. So don't listen to their bullshit. Stop story. They 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 even messed up their lives up all the time. And even the black women that are decent, that are got, supposed to have their head screwed on, that got that got like four university degrees. Yeah, they they say they make the same fatal mistake. I don't feel sorry for them. I don't feel sorry for them. I really don't. Or any single mother with that matter because they knew the guy was a piece of shit, but they failed to be the signs. So therefore, don't don't fall for their their, their soft and bullshit. You know what I mean? Because if this woman who's got a head screwed on, don't fall for that shit. You get me? Like, you know what I mean? So like, black British men don't feel guilty for dating outside your race. Yeah, if for example. If a Chinese woman's showing you love, go for a Chinese woman. Or if a Russian woman's showing you love, go for a Russian woman. Yeah? Don't don't feel obligated to be tolerated for a black woman. To get with a black woman just because you're black. Oh, if you're black, you're black. You, she's black, you're black. You should date each other. No, 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 no. If she's showing you hatred and disdain, stay away from them. Stay away from them, yeah? To get yourself a, a, a non-black woman that's going to love and appreciate you. Yeah? And you thank me late for it because you know Umar Johnson's a fucking idiot, man. He's he's, he's a fucking he's either failed pro. He's, he he is a failed pro black. I tell you why the failed pro black because he's talking about oh um black men should stick black women, but look at him. He's he's, he's a fucking baby father. He's got two kids, two different kids, two two different baby mothers. So he can't fucking talk. And also he talks about this 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 Frederick this Frederick Doug, Douglas school that is built in America. He be having that same conversation. From 2000, 2000 fucking nine, he's now twenty seven years old, yeah. And what he's doing, yeah, he's he's made, he's, he's stealing money from, from these stupid black women that's paying him, paying him donations, or whatever. Oh, I'm gonna build this, going to build a school, yeah. But what he's doing that money, yeah, he's funny his lifestyle and his fucking coke habits, cocaine habits. He's a fucking druggie. You get what I'm saying? Don't listen to what they, 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 they do not listen to what, what Umar Johnson Umar Johnson telling you because chatting is a lot of shit. He's just a dickhead, man. I ain't got fucking time for him. And I, I, I us black British men. And that fall for his fucking tricks, yeah. I mean, I, mean, I know, I know, I know, you might fool some black American men, but you're not fooling black British men. We, we, we're, we're, we're hit to the game. You know, it's bullshit trying to brainwash into thinking, oh, but you're black. You should, you owe the black community. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't owe, I don't black British man. I don't owe my race. I don't owe my race to commit nothing, especially when it comes to date. I don't owe nothing. I'm my own individual man. I do what pleases me. And if you my joint don't like it, you can fuck off. This fucking shit. I'm sick of having this bullshit, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the things Umar Johnson now, yeah, you know, he's just he's a, he's he's a failure. He's a, he's a failed pro black. I want. I, I'm I'm not sure if he's a doctor. Is he is he a doctor? I don't know, man. He it sounds sounds fishy, man. You know what I mean? And you know, and if black if black women if black women so fucking great, Umar Johnson, why are you not wifed up any of the single mother baby mothers? Ask that question. You fucking idiot. It's just oh, it just annoys me, man. Um. But with Umar Johnson is trying to, um, like trying to guilt trip black men, especially and also black American men. Well, not as well as black, as well as black British men. Also trying to guilt trip black American men. But the one thing I'm, I notice as well, especially the younger generation of black men, especially the Generation Z, 
anyone's born from 1997 to 2010, I think it is. With the younger generation of black men, they're not listening to me either. Cause they know he's he chatting shit. He's full of shit. He may, he may have, he may have got, um, he may have guilt tripped and won over the, the generation the Gen Xers and some of the early millennials who were born in the early 80s, from 81 to 84. Um, but I think the younger millennials and the young and the gen, and especially Generation Z black men, they say no, we're not, we're not fuck the black community. We're not, we're not, we're not doing any bullshit. We know, we know our self worth. We're going to go where we're loved and celebrated. And any black man, not just black British men, a black American man, any black man is about the world, yeah? It, you know, if a black woman, if a black woman's not showing love, go, go, go where you're celebrated. It, with, with any, whatever non-black woman that shows you love, go for that, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, it's a, it's a great time, it's a good time to be alive now in 2024 because as a black man, you've got so much choice in terms of dating a non-black woman. Don't feel guilty in in walk, from walking away from the black community because black community is not showing love yeah just walk away from it because you, you do you do some world of good you know what i mean so again i don't feel guilty for not black uh, not black they not dating black women i don't think black, black women these days are not that attractive i'm sorry to hate that hate said it might it might, it might it might sound self hate but it's not really it's really not because you can't stand a lot of black women i say 95 percent of them or 97 percent of them they're fake they're they're fake looking from head to toe so therefore they, they're attractive by default you get me? They're not, they're not wearing the natural hair, or they they, they bleach their skin. They wear blue or grey green contact lenses. They wear fake claw nails. They wear uh, a, a blonde weave, and they, and they, and they, what makes me laugh and I find it ironic. They call us self haters for then us a race yeah. But at least when I date a non black woman, I stay looking black. I stay I stay looking myself right. But when a, when a, when a black woman dates a white man, fucking you no, know, she changed the whole appearance and also she changed the whole the way she speaks. To a to, as she speaks, as she treats a black man, a white man, shall I say? You know what I mean? So like, we don't have to do that shit. We stay who we are. But we, I know it's all black. When they date outside their race, their race, they change the whole personality, the whole speech patterns, everything, just to try to fit in. And that, and that, and to me, that's a difference. That's a definite. That is definitely. That's definitely, definitely, definitely self hate. You know what I'm saying? So Umar Johnson needs to shut the fuck up and just just get the fuck out. Because we black British men, we're not. This is your bullshit. We're hip to the game, remember? We're not fooled by your by your fucking brainwashing and you should take a black woman because you're black and and another thing that gets mad with Umar Johnson, he says he says that um say if you get married to black women, say if you get married to a non black woman and we have kids with them, and say um say for unfortunate circumstances you die first year, he said that oh the black community the, the your money that you make, if you're if you're a black millionaire and you happen to die before your wife, you're your money that you make goes towards the non the non black community. That's not true. The money I make after I die will go to my wife and my kids. That's this is not that's what that's is not this is what you're not telling you. You know what I'm saying? He's just an idiot. So don't 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 listen to him. He's just full of shit. Yeah. So when I die, for example, I have a millionaire and I die, it's not going to go to the the, the um the non black community. It's going to go to my wife and kids. You know what I'm saying? So he's just full of shit, man. And the thing he, he moans about how um, black black men when they get married, oh they're giving their weight, they might they they they're wealth and riches to the non black community. But what he failed to um, realize and understand yet, what he doesn't mention is that when black women spend money on wee bundles, we wig wig we even wig bundles, fake hair, fake nails, blue contact lenses, by that definition, they're giving their money away to the, the the Asian man, Mexican man, the Mexican man, the Latino man when they when they go to the corner shops and buy the wig the wig wig bundles, yeah. So he, they, 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 he, he don't have a go at them for doing that, but then he has a go at us for just dating outside of race that for women to two women that love us, we generally love us and appreciate us. You know what I mean? So it's just full of shit, man. But anyway, listen before I go, and this is my message to Black British men. Black British men, do not, I repeat, no, don't listen to Omar Johnson. It's full of shit, yeah. If a non, if a non, non Black woman or white woman is showing you love, go for her. And if, 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 if. if Black women not showing if, if black women not showing love, then just move on from them because they're, they're not worth it, man. Anyway, I'm a bit drunk. Forgive me. Anyway, listen. If you like this video, please subscribe. Out.